you are learning power bi then this is the series for you start from video 1 to learn all the basic concepts of power bi this particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around dex around power query so that you can enhance your skills in power bi subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to discuss one power query function that is table two columns now till now what we have done is we have created table from list from columns from rows now we are going to do the reverse phenomena so the what we are going to do today is table two columns and let's see what happens when we convert table to columns so table to columns takes a table and is an argument and returns a list okay so now let's look at the example which has been given table to column now table from record has been created here and it's been passed to table to columns and this kind of output is expected so each column like this is one column is coming as one list another column is coming as list and third column is coming as a list and if you have seen our older video table from column you might have seen we have given columns as list so table to column should do the reverse of that so let's go ahead and begin our journey in power bi to do that so now what we going to do we are going to go to power query so from the home tab we go to transform data transform data and we will reach to power query and in power query we will take one existing table first of all so this is the table which i already have table one okay and table one was actually created uh, from our table function only uh, hash table function uh, we will take try to take this code later so now this is the table which has column a b and c and what happens if we say table to column so now to test that i need a blank query so i go to home new source blank query and once the blank query is created i right click on that and go to advanced editor and here i write down table dot two columns and then I press enter once it starts suggesting and then I'm going to give a table so I start typing table one and hash in the double quotes table one that's how we give a table name when it is having a space into it so we given a table name and let's say done and you can see it is showing me three lists now if I click on the list it shows me this is the first list of the column this is the second list for the column and this is the third list for the column okay so it has converted it into a list and we can see those lists okay now what we can do here is let's go ad go to advanced editor and let and say enter and when we can say okay list underscore list and we can say list dot combine and it required list list of list and I think we should be able to take source in that and let's return underscore list and we need to give a comma here right now you can see we created list of list and combine the three lists so first list the second list and the third list all three columns we are able to see now so this is how we used it now we have seen their example where they have actually given a table code inside this one so let's try that one also so we go here we take out the code from here in this table we go to advanced editor and we take out this hash table code cancel I go to query 2 I say advanced editor and instead of table 1 let me try to give this code and try out what happens so similar kind of results are coming we are unable to differentiate so let's go to the advanced editor now this time I'm going to go from home tab and let me change something let me change it to 1 2 1 2 and 1 1 okay fine so this is working and what we have done here is basically we appended also the list so that we can see them into you know 
data into a single list. So basically what we are doing here is we are taking all the columns of the table and putting them one below another one. Okay, because it is become list of list. Okay, so that's how we are doing it. So and let's say close and apply it. So go ahead and try this out. Do let me know what else you want me to consider in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.